believe it or not, it's supposed to be a clear sky tonight. And it doesn't look much like it at the moment. Forecast is set to be clear from about five o'clock onwards. So uh, I'm on my way to work now and hopefully it will clear out later and I can get the gear set up. As you can see they were right. It's clearing out nicely so I'm now heading home after work and I'll soon be setting up the gear. Hi, I'm Simon and you're watching Simon's Astro. So tonight I plan to go for the Jellyfish Nebula and Instellarium is telling me that at this current time of quarter to six it's only going to be 21 degrees so if I move the time on uh, quarter to seven it's going to be 30 degrees I want it to be at least 30 degrees before I start shooting that so that will give me time to set up my other rig which is going to be the Skyguider Pro and the Red Cat 51 with the Canon 60DA DSLR. So the main rig tonight will be the Esprit 120, which is 840mm focal length. Uh, that will be set on top of the EQ6R Pro mount. And the main camera will be the ZWO 2600 MC Pro. And the guide camera will be the ASI 120 Mini and that will all be controlled by the new ASI Air Plus and I've just also recently fitted the ZWO EAF to the rig as well. Okay I'm all set up now next thing to do is polar align. So I've just targeted the rig on Capella so I can do my focusing. It's centered Capella nicely I'm just going to do a quick focus check Okay, so that's a manual focus on Capella, which is near enough for my EAS, which you can't see in this light. There it is. That will take over the focus. I was now going to do a, um, a quick uh, focus check, and that will keep it on track. So the EAF is now doing its focus routine. When it's finished, I'll be ready to go. First sub's about to come in. The test shot is another five minute sub. Oh yeah, it's looking nicely. So it's the next day now. And I've just stacked all the subs in Pixinsight's weighted batch processing script. And that's uh, thanks to Luca Matigo's how to stack in Pixinsight tutorial. So thanks for that, Luke. Very helpful. Um, and it's now created a master light that um, I will take into Pixinsight to start editing. So while I'm waiting for this denoise to finish, I just mentioned that the image I took using the Red Cat 51 and the Sky Guider Pro with the Canon 60DA. I haven't had a chance to finish that yet, so hopefully that will be another video soon. There are plenty of really good pics and side tutorials already out there on YouTube, so I'm not going to go into those details as I'm still learning myself. So I can tell you what I've done so far, and that's I've cropped the image using dynamic crop, then I used the background neutralization, then the ABE, so automatic background extraction, the color calibration, SCNR, which is green removal. And then using the easy processor suite, I use the easy denoise. Um, and then after a few more tweaks, I come up with my final image. Um, I actually used the channel extraction to split the channels. Um, take out the original blue channel which was very weak in signal and um, quite noisy and created a new blue channel using the red and green channels and put it all back together with the LRGB combination um, and a, a little bit of curves um, and I have my final image. 
Uh, right now I'm going to skip to the end of this video to show you my final image of the Jellyfish Nebula. Um, I hope you like the image and I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I look forward to doing another video and having you come along and join me soon. So I wish you all clear skies.